Let's quickly talk about Shediak Higashi syndrome. Uh, this is going to be due to a microtubule disorder. So Shediak Higashi syndrome. What it is, is it's going to be an autosomal recessive mutation uh, in the CHS1 gene. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause microtubule polymerization to not occur uh, properly. So microtubule polymerization, what it is is you take a microtubule and you put a whole bunch of them together to form, uh, to form a structure for the cell. And you'll see these microtubule structures in the cytoplasm. And what, what these microtubule structures are used for, the polymers, they're used for mitosis, uh, transport of material within the cell, and cellular movement, uh, specifically through uh, the cilia and flagella. And there's another syndrome called Cardinger uh, syndrome, and that's going to be immodal cilia, uh, and that's due to a microtubule disorder as well. Uh, but for this uh, Shediak Higashi syndrome, what it is, is we're going to not be able to polymerize these microtubules, thus we're going to have some problems. And the main one is going to be decreased phagocytosis. And what that's going to do is uh, the phagocytes within your body, like, like uh, macrophages, neutrophils, anything that's going to take up cellular, uh, foreign cellular materials such as bacteria, um, what it's going to do is it's going to eat that bacteria, merge it with a phagolysosome, and then that'll ultimately degrade the bacteria. However, since we have a disorder in microtubule polymerization, phagocytosis cannot occur. So let's see some of the symptoms of Shediak Higashi syndrome. Uh, what you typically see, the main one is the second point, you may see a partial albinism, and that could be due to melanocyte dysfunction. Uh, melanocytes are thought to use the microtubules, so if you have that dysfunction in microtubules, you'll see a lighter skin, uh, grayish hair, or partial albinism symptoms. It won't be a true albinism, uh, but you may see an albinism-like syndrome. Uh, also, you have the phagocytosis. I've already kind of alluded to this, uh, but phagocytosis requires microtubules for its function. So when you have a mutation in this microtubule, you're going to have more frequent pyogenic infections. You're going to have more frequent gram-positive and more frequent gram-negative infections, like staph and strep. So uh, I, I also have a bullet point here. Neutrophils cannot function properly. We kind of already covered that. Uh, and then also, lastly, you're going to have neuropathies. Your nerves uh, need microtubules as well. So the nerve cells aren't going to function as properly. That may lead to a peripheral neuropathy, a, a neuropathy, a nerve problem in your periphery, in your extremities, in your distal arms, in your distal legs. Uh, you'll see neuropathy. So, so the three main points will be you'll have a partial albinism. You'll have recurrent infections. You'll have recurrent pyogenic infections specifically due to the phagolysosome malformation. The phagocytosis doesn't work. You're not able to merge uh, that bacteria into the lysosome. And then lastly, you'll have the peripheral neuropathies. I got all my information on wikipedia.com or through my medical school education. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. If you have any comments, be sure to comment. Be sure to like and finally subscribe. Thank you very much.